Also, Katie Price was turned away from the Cartier VIP lounge at a polo match in Windsor this weekend, an event attended by the great and the good of high society, including Prince Charles. She was informed that her tickets were withdrawn due to an oversight. Yet it's been alleged she was actually the victim of snobbery, although Cartier have yet to comment on the situation. But in our own lives, how well do we feel we adapt to sort of different social situations with different types of people. Oh, karma, 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 chameleon. That's me. <laughs> you really are. You're an expert. At I it, aren't am. You? Yes. Wherever I lay my hat, I'll adapt. <laughs> yes. I, I don't care really, because I, I think it's because I'm from such working class roots, and you know, miner's daughter. And now, you know, I can, I can drink champagne and, and mix hobnob. with royalty. Hobnob. But the thing is, with you as well, you look so comfortable doing it. Well, that's because I am, Colleen. I, no, I like yes. that about you. Yes. Well, why, why, uh, what I want to know is why do you need to adapt? Why can't you just go and drink champagne with those people and be yourself? Oh. I am being myself, but I adapt to being myself. But you're not, because you do it on this show. When a, when a handsome bloke comes on, your accent changes and suddenly you turn into this demure sort of, you know, diva. <laughs> and five minutes before, you're talking about pork pies and cup of tea. That's because... That's because... <laughs> Yes, but that's because I'm a chameleon. She's adapting to her environment. Yes, I all love the time. it. I love it. Sometimes I'm that. Sometimes I'm this. Can I just? You of, are I, always you. Well, you. I know. Oh. I can't. I can't change. I don't mind those sorts of um, situations. I, frankly, I'd rather stay away from them because I find them, you know, a little bit tedious. You know, all those posh people making polite conversation. It's not really my bag. But you know, I went on the Orient Express, which people say, oh, that's that's full of posh people. It's not really. It's just full of people. Well, it's because, obviously not if you were on. Well, it. no, we brought. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> to our level, and I don't mind. I like drinking champagne. I like I like doing different things and observing people, which is interesting. But I'm not intimidated by it, and I certainly don't. I don't really adapt. I don't change. I don't try to be like them because I think that's I don't know. That's Where are you wrong? at your most comfortable? Where do you feel? Oh, I think. Oh, I tell you what. I was well at home at Pontins. Yeah, <laughs> I really was. Oh, Honestly, I surprised myself. Really? I, I, honestly, yeah. I felt really at home there. I can't wait to go back. Why are you I loved surprised it. at that? We knew you'd adapt to that. <laughs> yeah. I know you did. Well, I, I, knew I, I knew I wouldn't, I knew I could, you know, maybe adapt to it, but I didn't have to adapt at all. I just felt like completely at home there. Your spirit's yeah, my home, people. Not on there, so no, not at all. See, I think I'm a bit more like Jane in that I'm very comfortable anywhere, yeah. really, and, and I sort of... I don't really feel like I have to adapt my behaviour because I'm not such an outrageous person that I sort of think, oh, right, well, I better tone myself down here or, or change my accent or whatever. So, but I, I don't feel out of place oh, anywhere. I do. anywhere, really. I do. Do you? Do you? <laughs> here? I'm really uncomfortable here. No. <laughs> I, um, I, can, I can adapt, but I don't like it. I mean, I'm uncomfortable there. You know, if it's a really, really posh do. Yeah. You've got a posh voice. No, I never change my voice. I can't change my voice. I just laugh. But yeah. I, I just feel, and it's my insecurity. I don't think it's anything necessarily to do with the people that are there. But I always think they're looking at me thinking, oh, what's she doing here? Yeah. yeah. Well, and I always think, think, and so I always feel like, I have to think before I say anything. And, you know, you try and, oh, I don't know. I just, I just know how uncomfortable I am because when I, leave yeah. I can feel myself go and I just think oh, I just can't yeah. wait to go and take my shoes off put my jammies on and have a cup well like for example yeah. what sorts of do's well, I make went, you feel I that went the, the poshest do I've been to quite a few posh do's mm. actually and um, but the poshest do probably is when I was invited to um, 10 Downing Street Ooh. yes Ooh. What? who is Prime Minister uh, Gordon Brown Anyway, but we won't go into that because it's not no, a political no, no, debate. No, no, no. But anyway, and I walked in and, um, and it was all very posh people in suits and that. And actually, I did stand on my own for about an hour and a half. Oh. Absolutely nobody spoke to me. I think they thought That's I rude. was carrying the canapes or something. Oh. I, but did you speak to anybody, though? I did my best. I'd go... That's <laughs> <laughs> not speaking. And they'd just go... Anyway, <laughs> no. an hour and a half I was thinking, oh, and I was just so thrilled to be there just to say I'd been there, yeah. and I was thrilled I was invited, but I actually got on better with the security guards outside, we had a right laugh. <laughs> I went outside for a fag, and we had such a laugh outside, and I thought, this is where I belong. Yeah, yeah. really? I, don't so I, I would just barge up to you and say, all right, what do you do then? 
Yeah. And I'd be really nosy, you know, and that's the only way you can do it. Well, what would you do? You, well, you'd be the best in that sort of situation. Good, you go up and start. I'm not good at going up and starting well, the Well, it's all about it. confidence, and we have to start building your confidence up, you. Because I know, but it is about that hotel. I know, bless oh. you. Right, listen to this. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> we stayed in a hotel that she stays in. Right. And actually, she warned me the night before, she said, I don't think it's for you, and I thought, oh, it's posh. <laughs> anyway, we went in, and I got into my room, and there was a dress code for breakfast. Yes. So what did and you do? And she phoned me up. She said, I don't know that you've read the dress code, but women have to be in tailored suits, you know, breakfast. Oh. to go no, down for breakfast. No. No, and no. I, phoned them, I phoned them up here, and I did said, you have a tailored put suit me on you? anywhere, but do not put me in here again. And the next day, I'm going down like this, in my little high heels, and my, and my pencil for skirt. Breakfast. breakfast? I didn't even have breakfast to embarrass. Yes, well, why not? I mean, some people don't like it's a members club, so you don't, they don't have jeans. So that's well, they it. Should, they should just loosen Why? up a bit. Because they all yeah. looked all stuffy, and I Why? bet every see... single person in there, if you said, Would you like to go and put your jeans and your trainers on? They go, oh, yeah. No, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you know, I, I think you'd like, be surprised. Be I, I would have gone shit. down there naked just to annoy them all. <laughs> just yeah, go down, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. In, your, in your knickers in your or something. <laughs> <'cause> like, <laughs>